hunger, the pain of not having enough to eat, the embarrassment of needing to find a way to eat. Every day, another challenge. One out of every three children in Israel lives below the poverty line. It is a shocking statistic, which threatens to grow now that the government child allowances have been slashed, unemployment is rising, and thousands of Jews spend their day hungry, each and every day, in the state of Israel. Hazon Yeshaya Soup Kitchens, a relief from hunger, a warm place to eat a good nutritious meal served with dignity. I was born in Egypt. We had to flee in 58. We arrived in France waiting for a visa to enter the States. And during two and a half years of waiting with only the clothes on our back, we ended up eating every single day in a soup kitchen. I waited my entire life to be able to be in a position to repay this great favor that we received. Unlike many other Western countries, Israel has no hot lunch program available in all schools. As a result, there are thousands of children, some from dysfunctional families, some who live in dire poverty, who don't even eat one good meal a day. Hassan Yeshaya distributes food to dozens of schools and special after-school programs, and has even opened their own daycare centers for children in the most desperate economic and social conditions. We have reached now a staggering over 120,000 hot meals that we serve every single month. Out of that, 80% go to school-aged children. The reason that we are concentrated on children that tens of thousands of children go every day to school with empty stomach. And what we are doing, we're serving directly to school and afternoon extended programs, these hot meals that really save these children from having a day where they cannot concentrate in school, a day of pain, and we're giving them a nutritious meal to carry them forward for the entire day. Children of the future of the State of Israel Hazon Yeshaya's involvement with Israel's children goes way beyond meals. Whether it's hot food, clothing, or footwear, Hazon Yeshaya is there for them. Additionally, each month, Hazon Yeshaya sponsors up to 80 bat and bar mitzvahs for orphaned and abused children with prayers at the Western Wall, a festive meal, and special gifts. Hazon Yeshaya serves meals in Israel 365 days a year since people are also hungry on holidays. Clothing and shoes are made available to those in need because everyone needs a chance to shop and wear something new once in a while. When I started seven years ago, I was feeding 17 people, three families. Since the Intifada and the year of 2000, we have seen the increases that are staggering. We have reached where we are feeding people that are wearing suits and ties because of their loss of their jobs in high tech, in tourism. A figure that we were at before the Intifada of about 800 meals a day has now grown to 5,000 a day. We now have eight facilities all over the country. We're nationwide. Just yesterday, we were invited by the mayor of Be'er Sheva to open up a facility in the south. I really don't know what these people would do if we didn't have these facilities, where would they eat? Their children, where would they find a nourishing meal? Helping old and young, Holocaust survivors, the ill and handicapped, immigrants and native Israelis, men, women, and especially children making a difference every day in people's lives. Living the commandment to love thy neighbor as thyself, that's the remarkable work of Chazon Yeshaya. Won't you join us?